Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. Down in the basement, yes. <laughs> or, uh, I get banished to a lot of times over this uh, isolation. Hey, uh, I got a letter the other day from Mr. Ferris, and he said, hey, Rich. Oh, oh hey, Lou. Nice cameo there, buddy. Um, we, uh, I got a letter, and he said, hey, you want to do fist pumps? And I said, sure, fist pump Friday. I was like, I'm game. Okay, so uh, I got the names here, and we will get you the prizes, uh, either by Carrier Pigeon, Slow Boat, okay, but we'll get them to you. Our first winner is Al E. Gator. And the teacher is Barry DeHatchet. Barry DeHatchet, is that, is that a, a, a technology teacher? Works with wood? I don't know. Next, we got Anita Room. And that's uh, from Benny Factor. Hey, Factor. Is that a math teacher? I don't know. Just, uh, okay. Next, we have Artificial. Artificial. Hey, that's from Jay Walker. Jay Walker. It's, it's a phys ed teacher. Oh, no. Phys ed teachers don't walk, they run, they stay in shape. <laughs> Okay, next we got Jack Pot from uh, the teacher Dynamite. Is that a, a, a cooking teacher? Hey, Dynamite. Hey, next we got Jim Nasium. Okay, that, that, that was a phys ed person. Hey, and then finally we have uh, Joe King. <laughs> okay, from Rhoda Camel. Great. I, 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 I never met these kids before in my life, but I'm sure they, they're at ESM. Anywho, stay strong, wash your hands, stay legal and moral, and Richie loves you. While waiting for promised financial aid from the federal government, Cross Hospital is losing approximately $300,000 per day. With more people in our area contracting the coronavirus, money-making elective surgeries have been canceled. As a result, the hospital has been forced to find temporary ways to increase earnings and cut expenses. This is coming at a time when they need to purchase more equipment for the expected surge of patients. If the trend continues, they are expected to lose $20 million by the end of June. Krauss is not the only hospital facing these issues. Many hospitals across New York State are facing similar problems as they urgently wait for financial aid. Late yesterday, Google announced it will be launching a tool that will track people's movement during the coronavirus outbreak, allowing for any health official to see if their communities are following social distance measures. They say they will publish and regularly update their reports, which are divided by location and will exhibit the changes in visits in pu to public places. The company says they will use data they have collected on its users, which includes information from Google Maps. They also said that the reports will not include any personal information, which includes current location, contacts, or movement. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now that you are spending a bit more time at home, and maybe since your bedroom has also become your classroom, here is a reminder on cleaning your room. The Good Housekeeping Institute says you should wash your sheets and other bedding at least once every two weeks, but preferably every week. Other items that should be washed daily during an outbreak are doorknobs, light switches, refrigerator and microwave doors, drawer handles, TV remotes, counters and tabletops where you cook and eat, toilet handles, and faucet handles. Stay safe, everyone. Yankees pitcher Masahiro Tanaka returned to Japan earlier this week due to the concern of the coronavirus. Tanaka and his family said they felt unsafe and they said they didn't have any symptoms. Some more notable college basketball players who declared for the NBA draft are Trey Jones, Mac McClung, Tyrese Halliburton, and Anika Ankungu. These players are all projected first round. The 2020 Summer Olympics will be postponed until next summer due to the circumstances regarding the coronavirus on Crystal Sports. Good morning, it's Mrs. Ward reporting live from my dining room. Behind me are one of those tables that only ever get used on holidays or to store mail. But for the past two weeks, it's been my own little piece of Central High School. Every day I take some moments to look at the number of users logged on. I see the numbers of students changing by the moment and I can't help but wonder, did you just wake up? Have you just started your day? Is it lunchtime? Are you meeting up with friends? Are you helping someone around the house? 
Do you need to go to work? Or are you ending your learning day? I look at the numbers and I picture your face and I hear your voices in the hall. I even picture a hood or two that I have to nicely ask you to take down. Please know that you're being thought of, worried about, and greatly missed. You're doing incredible things. Very few generations have ever had to be asked to completely change the way things have always been and do it in a matter of 24 hours. You rose to the challenge of balancing home obligations, helping teachers muddle through technology issues, and shift to a totally new way of learning, all during a time where the only certainty we have is that things will change. I'm so proud of all of you, your trailblazers. You're pushing all of us out of our comfort zones and encouraging us to be better. You're creating history. You will always be the generation that was students during an unprecedented time. You have the opportunity to leave your mark for generations of students to come. So I challenge you, what are you gonna do to make our school, community, state, country, world a better place? What stories about this time are you going to share with your future children and grandchildren? Dr. Desiato sent a message about school continuing during what was originally planned as our spring break. Who ever thought schoolwork would be credited for saving lives? But while we continue playing our essential roles and flattening the curve, let's take this week to slow down a bit, get caught up, do something for others, and most importantly, take care of ourselves. Next week, you'll be encouraged to participate in our first ever virtual spirit week. You'll be encouraged to dig out some of your classic spirit week outfits, post pictures, and interact with each other through social media. Yes, we're encouraging you to use social media. Times really are changing. The theme for this week will be kindness. Teachers have been asked to incorporate kindness into their lessons next week. You'll learn about the four types of kindness and how to show it. You'll also have opportunities to be kind to yourself. Please take care of yourself, be well, and we hope to see you soon.